Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Miss Karen and today we are going to be traveling all the way to Japan. Let's go! Today we will be creating these fish kites. These fish kites are made in Japan when it's Children's Day every 5th of May. And I will teach you how you can make some of your own at home. In Japan, these are called carp kites. Before we begin, please remember to ask your parents for help during this activity. The materials we are going to need are white pieces of paper, colors, markers or crayons are fine, a pencil, scissors, tape, a hole puncher, some sticks so you can put all of your fish together, and some yarn. Starting off with our white piece of paper, we are going to fold it in half, hot dog style. And we are going to begin to sketch out our fish. Or you can even use a stencil from the internet. Just trace it into your folded piece of paper. I decided to do three fishes because in Japan these kites are used to represent their family. The biggest fish on the top represents their father. The middle one represents their mother, and the smaller ones represent the kids. So I decided to do my mom, my dad, and just myself. After we have finished tracing all of our fish, we are going to begin to cut. And remember to please ask an adult for help when cutting. And now we're going to open them up and draw two eyes, one on each side. Make sure that you don't draw them up too high because you will be cutting holes on top to put the yarn and make a kite. Now we are going to trace our eyes with a black marker and begin coloring in our fish. I decided to do my fish that is going to represent myself purple. And we're going to repeat that process with the rest of our fish, coloring in our fish and tracing their eyes. You can use your creativity and make a rainbow fish or use various colors. Now that we have finished coloring in our fish, we are going to begin to glue them together or you can even use tape. And now we are going to glue the edges of our fish so the only two edges are going to be glued together leaving a hole in the middle so the air can flow. Now that our fishes are glued together, we are going to puncture one or two holes on the top where the mouth would be. This is where we're going to weave our yarn through so it can become a kite.
Now we are going to create the handle for our kite. Usually in Japan they use bamboo sticks. And the only thing I could find were these sticks. So make sure that you ask your parents for help if you're going to use this. Or you could even use a ruler. Anything that is long and flat so we can hang our fish from it. I am using four of these sticks and I'm going to tape two of them together so it can be stronger. I am placing tape on both corners of the sticks so they can combine together and make a stronger stick. And I will repeat that with my other two sticks and then I will glue them together. We are now going to cut out our pieces of yarn. Make sure that they're not too short or too long. However long you choose to cut it is how long it would be away from the stick. I am cutting out three pieces of yarn, but you can always cut six. I put a little bit of tape on the edges of our yarn so it's easier for us to put it through the holes. And once we start to put it in, one piece of yarn goes on one side and we are going to knot it at the top. And you can repeat that on the other side, but I decided to just do it on one side. And we will repeat it on our other two fish. And now we're going to tape them to our stick. Once we finish taping all of our fish, we are done! A fun fact about these is... In Children's Day in Japan, houses are decorated with koinobori or carp kites, which are these. The carp is known for its strength and ability to swim up and over powerful waterfalls. It is hoped that children will grow up to be strong like these carp fish. I hope you guys had fun making these and try it out at home. See you guys next time. Bye. Mite kurete arigato.